Well, my Ohana, you know what they say in the movies, every good thing comes to an end, and my beautiful Fader Flowerhorn Moana, ah, it's sad to say, but she's gonna be leaving me. I'm gonna be giving her to somebody, and uh, you guys are gonna come on this journey with me. So go grab some Kleenex, wipe your eyes. This could be a tearjerker, okay? And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there she is, my beautiful Moana. Oh, Moana. <laughs> Hey, na hallelujah, I'm away. Hello, baby, baby, my boy. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk about everything aquatics. Yeah, the whole world of aquatics. Whether it be freshwater or saltwater, goldfish and koi ponds, local fish store tours, fish rescues, DIY projects, and product reviews in the hobby. Now, my Ohana, you guys are in for a special treat. That's all I got to say. I am in the beautiful city of Sacramento. It took me about, a, about an hour and 10 minutes to get here from where I live. And you guys are probably looking in the backdrop like, where the heck are you? Yeah, wh where are you? Yeah, where am I? That's what I want to know. Well, let me show you guys where I'm at, all right? Gosh, I haven't been here in two years. Check it out. 916 Aquatics, 6910 Luther Drive, Suite I, Sacramento, California. Yeah, Ohana. So like I said, I haven't been here like in over two years. And if you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll leave the actual thumbnails right here. Check out the thumbnails. And then I'll actually leave the links down in the description of those videos. Go check it out. I mean, you want to talk about flower horns? Julie Tran, the queen of flower horns. She has the best flower horns, I want to say, definitely on the West Coast. The best of the best of the best, sir. And it's been known that she's had the best flower horns in the United States. What? She actually goes to Thailand and picks them herself. Oh, hell no! <laughs> As you can see, these beauties behind me, ooh, I'm telling you, Ohana, you guys have no idea. And like I said, I haven't been here for two years, so they actually did a remodel. And I love the remodel. Look at the background, the blue, the white racks. I mean, everything just pops in this store. Now, Julie has been in business for 20 plus years. She's been here at this location for about two and a half years or so. And this place is awesome. I'm gonna go through, look at all of her selections. And the coolest thing about Julie is, she ships anywhere in the US. And I've been getting a lot of you at home commenting or DMing me, asking me where I get my flower horns at. Oh, this is the place, uh, this is the video to watch if you wanna know where to get some beautiful, very high quality, if not the highest quality you can get in flower horns. Now you wanna see flower horns when you first walk in through the front door, this is the flower horn you're greeted with. OMG, see would you look at this beautiful flower horn now. Look at that coke on its head. Look at the markings, the pearl. I mean, you talk about pretty much flawless for flower horn. This is your guy. I think I'm just gonna call him flawless. I don't even know what his name is, but beautiful. Yeah, this is just an appetizer, Ohana. And then as you walk into the fish gallery, we'll call it, look at this. I gotta show you guys this aquarium way down here at the end. Sorry for the glare, guys, but this aquarium here is full of beautiful blood parrots. Look at them. Just a beautiful aquarium full of blood parrots. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love all species aquariums like this. It's so awesome, so beautiful. Look at them. They have the coolest little mouths. It's almost like they got something in their mouth and it's like, you know, little chipmunk cheeks. But look at them all. That's a big mama right there. That's the biggest one right there. Almost almost looks like a Midas, the way it looks. But yep, these beautiful, beautiful fish here in this aquarium. And now, Ohana, don't worry. We're going to get to the flower horns, okay? We'll get there, okay? So just be patient. I want to actually show you what else Julie has besides her top A quality flower horns. Check out the other fish that she has. Look at these beautiful silver arowanas. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. On sale for 48 bucks. That is a steal. They're probably about maybe right around the five to six inch range. Oh my goodness. I believe these are, they look like very, they look like koi angels. Sorry for the glare, guys. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful, huh? Look at them. Uh, pearl scale too, maybe? Possibly? Pearl scale koi angels? I want to say that these smaller discus are 
I want to say this is the price because the price is over here, $29.99. Don't quote me though, okay? Because this aquarium doesn't have any prices, but ah, some beauts, huh? Would you look at that? Look at the color. Look at the design. The patterns on this. Oh, I love that yellow one there. I don't know if that's a go a sunshine or the names of them, but yep, some beautiful, beautiful discus here. Ooh. Ooh, wee, look at that. Oh, minus the glare. Now, all my goldfish lovers out there, you guys are in store for a big treat, too, because she has some of the most beautiful orandas, Ryukan, just beautiful colors and size of goldfish. Wait till you see her goldfish collection. And she kind of just got into it, too. So kudos to Julie, because she's expanding, not just in the flower horns, but other fish like these beautiful goldfish, man. I, just check them out. Hey, look at these beautiful Godzilla VIP Orandas. Yeah, these would be the Godzillas. They're kind of like a short stubby body, but look how unique they are, huh? Look at the mouth on these little, I can't say little, <laughs> they're big. That's why they're called Godzillas. Oh, just beautiful, right? These beautiful Godzilla VIP Orandas are $98. Look at these extra large Ryukins. Look at them, they look like tigers. $99, but look at them. Oh my gosh, imagine having a, an aquarium full of these tigers. Look at that, just beautiful. Look at the finish, the color, the design, the pattern. Here are some more extra large Ryukins. But like I said, the design and the colors is what uh, makes these goldfish so unique. Look at this one here, red dot on its head. I love that one there in the background. It reminds me of my favorite koi, the Tancho Kohaku. Right here in this aquarium, we have some large and extra large ronchu. You can see the fish are super healthy. They do daily water changes here at the shop. So you're getting, you know, a fish that's super healthy, well taken care of. Now, earlier in the video, I did mention shipping. She ships anywhere in the United States. But I also thought I'd let you guys know that if you were to order some goldfish, she can actually have these shipped in two days instead of next day because all of her flowers that she shipped are next day service so if you do want some goldfish you can go two day service and it's a little bit cheaper as far as the uh shipping goes all right hold up hold up i have to show you this beautiful vip tricolor oranda wait till you see this beauty omgz look at that oranda you talk about unique you talk about hard to find look at him the red head with the black Oh my gosh, look at the fins. That is one healthy tricolor oranda. But I love the unique pattern and the color of it. Look at them. <gasps> this is a centerpiece fish. Oh my gosh. Look at its body. Look at the scales. <gasps> look at it. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And if you want to know how much that cost, <gasps> 89 bucks. In my opinion, that is a steal. Got some more extra large ronchus. I love these ronchus right here. That reminds me of a tiger. She has some medium sized orandas for $29 here. Oh my gosh, look at that one there. That is a cool looking oranda. All my goldfish people, you guys have gotta be salivating at the mouth right now. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <gasps> Panda. Panda. I got broads in Atlanta. She's a the family. Some more tricolor orandas for 59 bucks. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at them. Beautiful orandas. Wow, this is super impressive, Julie. I'm just gonna say this right now. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, with the mohawk. What? White face, black eyes, and it's got the Benny around its mouth like that? Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful oranda. Now, I don't know where you guys are from, but I'm just gonna say here, for the record, Julie has got probably the most beautiful selection and unique selection of goldfish definitely in town that's for sure I don't see oranda goldfish like this or ranchus or ryukins that look like this in any other fish store here in Sacramento look at these beautiful VIP calico orandas the colors I'm telling you guys none other in town 98 bucks right next door to this one here we have some more these are $28 and you can grow these guys out some beautiful beautiful orandas Look at that, not bad, $28, this is a steal. It's like robbery. We can go right up, one up here. These orandas right here are $29 too as well. And you can never go wrong with some King Kong parrotfish. You got tiger parrotfish in here along with King Kong parrotfish. Look at them all. 
$74.99 for the tiger parrots. And I think we know what the tiger parrots look like, right? They have that black, like this one here. You can see that black, it's gonna come in dark as it gets older. And then of course the uh, King Kong parrots are just the solid color. It looks like there's a Texas cichlid in the back there, if I'm not mistaken, Whoa, way back there, maybe a Texas cichlid. You see that guy hiding back there? But look how beautiful they are. Super healthy. All right, my Ohana, so here's the moment you've all been waiting for, right? I'm gonna show you some of the most beautiful flower horns in the country of the United States, okay? I'm just giving you a heads up right now. The flower horns I'm about to show you are class A, number one, high quality. And man, she has a lot of them. I mean, like I said earlier, uh, Julie is the queen of flower horns. Wait till you see her flower horn collection and everything is for sale, okay? So don't hesitate. If you guys want to purchase any flower horns or any fish that you see in this video, of course, all of her links are gonna be down in the description, okay? Go ahead and click her link, go to her website, check them out. Wow, let me turn this screen around. Let me show you off these beautiful diamonds. All right, so I'm trying to get the best angle so you could appreciate all of these beautiful flower horns. I think right here, this is a female. This looks like a female just because of the way the coke is on its head, super small. But then you got this one right here, which are, so, look at these two guys right here fighting. Look at the coke on that little flower horn there. Oh my gosh. You talk about a brainiac there, that dude right there, you better be smart with a head like that. And then as we go on and on, you can see the different flower horns, but the color, the pearl, the design. Oh my gosh, you can just tell. This is a high quality flower horn. Now it just doesn't stop there, Ohana. Check it out, we're just gonna go on. Oh my gosh. OMG, these look like SRDs, but this one right here, look at this one. That is a stunner. That bright orange, it's like a fire orange. And the red or the white pearling on it, oh my gosh, the design on that flower horn. <gasps> OMG, beautiful. W27, I don't know the prices on these right here. There's no prices on them, but I'm sure all of these are on her website. Oh my gosh, look at SRD, SRD, Super Red Dragon. We're just gonna go right up here. Oh my gosh, these are little guys. Now when I say little, they're probably in the realm of like, how they measure a flower horn. Let me show you guys here. How they measure the flower horn is from the mouth right there and then to the tailbone, which is not the tail itself, but that last part of meat right there. That is how they measure a flower horn. So from, from that point A to point B, these are probably about eh, five inches maybe. I would guesstimate five and a half inches. Gosh, just beautiful. Oh, look at more, more. You guys want more? This is more, look at the color. Yeah, look at that. Just the straights. I told you guys, straight stunner. Look at them. Looks like a tiger. Oh, the pattern on this one here. Here are some more. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. Oh, look at the dome on him, huh? Look at that. Nuckel hump, natural hump, coke, cock, whatever you wanna call it. These guys have it all. And they have the potential to be a grand champion. Yep, that's right. Gosh, look at that one there. I said it, grand champion. Oh, look at that one. You may be watching this video going, oh my God, they all look the same. No, these are just, I'm telling you guys, let me back up so you guys can see it. I mean, you're talking aquariums. They're too high and just uh, all flower horns, all that, all flower horns. Oh my gosh, look at this one here, guys. Oh my gosh, stunner. It's like stunner after stunner. So like if you like one and you know, you want to get, well, that looks like a female there. You can see the uh, coke or cock on its head, very small. Oh, and this one looks nice. Look at that one. Oh, the blue. Oh my gosh, that looks like a, like a I don't know, postcard picture right there. Oh, just beautiful. Gosh, I love that flower horn. It's something about the blue. It's almost like a lavender. Man, or a violet. I like that guy. Oh, look at that. And see the mirror in the background there, that little mirror? That helps them show their color off. See, they see they see the reflection. And um, a lot of flower horn breeders will have that in there. So you show them a little image of themselves and they see themselves and then you see that color just come out because they obviously think there's another fish in the aquarium. Just a little tip of the pros. If you want your flower horn 
to show off its color, look at it's gonna spend a lot of time looking at itself in the mirror. I'm telling you though, it helps the color. It helps bring out the color anyways. I should get the Coke on that one there. Oh my gosh. It looks like a bubble, you know? Ooh, look at this beautiful one here. <gasps> yeah, that's a beaut right there. Stunner. Ooh, I love the blue in this one here too. This one shows a lot of potential. Yeah, look at that. See how they have different markings? Oh. Now the thing that I love about Julie's flower horns are you're not gonna find flower horns that are huge, like, you know, like you know, eight, nine inches. You're not gonna see them pushing that big. You're gonna see them like this size here, you know what I mean, which is about, from, like I said, the tailbone to the mouth, uh, you're looking anywhere between five, six inches. You know, if you get one that's seven inches, that's a big boy for her. But I love the fact that they're small and then you can see the potential, even when they're that small. Normally it takes a while for you to see the potential, but like you saw, like some of the smaller ones, huge cock or coke on their head, the color, the pearls, the designs. I mean, just beautiful. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, man. Straight stunner. Ooh. Check out this group. OMG, see, look at this guy. Oh, man, that's like a fire red. You got this guy here, this guy here. There's just so many. It's almost like deja vu, you know? <laughs> they look the same. You go to the next one, you're like, oh, ooh, look at this one, super unique. Oh, super, super unique. I love the face on that one. Oh, sorry, glare. Oh, another one, look at that one. Ooh, oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Oh, that is super, super cool. That right there, do you know what that is? That right there is a hamster ball. Oh my gosh, you can get that at any pet store. What a unique and awesome way to store a fish. This one here is either too small and it might swim through the crack of the divider or it could be protecting it from the fish that's in the back there, which could be super aggressive. Uh, but most people, this is such a good idea, Julie, I love this. Um, most people use critter boxes, that's what I use. But to use a hamster ball, I love it because it kind of free floats and the fish gets to swim around, so to speak. It's kind of an illusion, but hey, I like that. See, I don't know about you, Ohana, but I just learned something new. The hamster ball to store a fish in here if they're either aggressive or to protect them from other fish or maybe you have a group of smaller fish that you want to swim around in the aquarium but you know they just can't in a critter box that right there kind of free floats and they get to swim almost like yeah it's they get to swim around in the tank that's so awesome oh here's another juvie oh my gosh would you look at that one there <gasps> oh man ohana i'm gonna say this is probably my favorite flower horn right here this one right here, I, I gotta find out how much this one costs because the red, and then as it fades off to the tail there, it's almost like an orange gold base. Oh my goodness. Look at that, this is from far away. Look at the color on this thing. Oh man, I gotta find out how much. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Look at the body. Look at how gold it is towards the end and how deep the red is. I mean, look at the chins. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's almost like a metallic red. All right, we still have another row of flower horns, but as of right now, I have two favorite flower horns, and I'm gonna show you both of them right now, and then we'll go check out that last row. This is one of my favorites, and then let's go look at the other one. And the other favorite flower horn is this one here. Look at the color, man. It's almost like a neon. I love the gold base. I don't know, maybe I just like it. It's, it's not like the other one. The other one's a deep red, but this one has a more of an orange, kind of sunburst looking color, but the design, this one here, another one of my favorite. These are my two favorites out of all the flower horns so far. It kind of reminds me of Moana-ish in a way. Ah, oh, that gold base though, look at that. Love this one. I gotta find out the cost on these two. So if you're watching this video, don't even think about it, Ohana. Don't even try and swoop and steal one of these fish from me, all right? I'm just kidding. I'm just spreading the love with you guys. Here's another beautiful flower horn. Look at that, oh, the color. I can't say enough about the color, it's speechless. The pearls too in this one, oh. Oh my gosh, another stunner. Look at the coke on this flower horn. Look at the design. It, it, I swear some of these flower horns look fake. They look like it's painted on. And this is another one, kind of a gold base, kind of a gold, I don't know, bottom base of this flower horn here. 
Uh, but another complete stunner. Oh, love this guy. Look at them. And they don't hide, you know, they come up, they're super friendly. Of course, they probably think you're gonna feed them. And so you can get a really good look at these flower horns. Oh my goodness. Another stunner, look at this one here. Look at the red eyes. Look at the eyelids on this one here. Oh, come on, come on, zoom in. Look at the eyelids, look at the eyelids even have a little bit of that blue. Oh, oh some more beautiful flower horns too, look at. Oh my gosh, look at that one there. I love that they're right next to each other so you can kind of compare the two, you know what I mean? Like, which one do you want? Do you want one with a big Coke? Do you want one with a small Coke? Or you can say, do you want one with a big cock? Or do you want one with a small cock? We got some more here too as well. Just beautiful after beautiful after beautiful. Oh, look at that. We'll go right down the row here on these flower horns, guys. Look at that. Ooh, look at that guy in the back there. Yeah, we see ya, bud. We see ya. This one right here is super lively. A lot of personality, too. That's another thing about flower horns is they have so much personality. I mean, a lot of people think Oscars do. In my opinion, I'm gonna have to lean a little bit more towards the flower horn as far as personality goes and personable. You want a, like, a water dog? I would say the flower horn is your pick. A lot of people that come to me and say, hey, listen, I got a 75 gallon tank. I wanna put a fish in it. What do I put in it? I always suggest a beautiful, high quality flower horn. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. When you walk into a room, um, I wanna say they have more personality than an Oscar. They're always looking at you. They want you to feed them. Um, as far as my SRD Maui goes, you guys see me pet him too as well. So like I said, super personal. I don't know how many Oscars will let you pet them. We're gonna run down the line here. Just flower horn, flower horn, flower horn, flower horn. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. This guy wants to say hi. Oh, man. The tails, those trailers on all the flower horns are just so on point. Ooh, this one is pretty. I like the jaw on this one. It's got that blue. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> Ooh, look at them all, guys. Look at them all. Are you guys getting sick of the flower horns yet? Please. Please say no. Oh, look at the rose on this one here. Oh, look at that rose on its head. That's what they call the rose right there. Oh, some of them have double rows too, which is cool. Oh, look at this one here. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. So pretty. Long trailers. Look at that. I'm just going to walk backwards and I'm hitting the angle to where it's, uh, it's best as far as glare and reflection goes. Look at that. Oh, I can't get enough of flower horns. Like I said, it's flower horn heaven here. More and more beautiful flower horns. I'm doing you guys a solid, Ohana. And I'm showing off the most beautiful flower horns here in the state of California. Like point blank. And as they would say, or the young people would say, no cap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me tell you something about that word, no cap. If you're over the age of, I'm gonna just say 30, and that's kind of a stretch, and you're saying no cap, and you're over the age of 30, you're a loser. Stop doing it, you sound ridiculous. I'm gonna let the youth in the 20s maybe get away with that saying, although I still think it's dumb, because my 16 year old son, uses it all the time. Oh, that's cap dad, no cap dad. No, how about you no shut the hell up? How about that, okay? Oh, and you guys want some bettas right behind me? She also has a beautiful selection of bettas. Look at OMGZ. Would you look at these bettas? Oh my. I tell ya, Julie picks the best fish. Even her bettas have color. Look at that. I mean, we're talking jars and jars of beautiful bettas. Oh my gosh, look at that one there. <gasps> Ooh wee. Oh snap, Ohana. I just seen my favorite flower horn, hands down. You guys comment down below and you guys, you guys tell me, all right? If you think this is the most beautiful flower horn, most unique flower horn that you've ever seen. You ready? Check this baby out. It's on this row here. Where is it at? I saw it, I saw it. 
I saw it. Where is it at? Where are you? Where are a lot of oh here it is. Look at <gasps> oh M G Z. Would you look at this beautiful flower horn? How unique is that flower horn there? Right? Look at the trailers. Look at the coke or the cock, that orange. OMG, easy. It is just blazing. That white body. And you know what's crazy, Ohana? I just found out this is a female. It's not even a male with the coke and cock on her head like that. That is a female. Look how beautiful. Come out into the light. Come on, you little fixin. Come out in the light. Oh my gosh, look at the gold base face. Oh, beautiful, right? Tell me that's not the most beautiful flower horn you've ever seen. Comment down below. Just hashtag beautiful flower horn. Or you can just hashtag Moana because that is Moana. Just hashtag Moana. That is my feeder flower horn. And like I said earlier in the video when you saw me bringing her here, yeah, this is going to be her home right here. Look at her. Beautiful. But guess what, Ohana? She's not for sale. Gotcha. I hate you. No. You really suck. I brought her here because I'm entering her in the flower horn competition that Julie has every year. Now this is something that I've always wanted to do with either Maui or Moana. And I just feel that Moana is so unique that I'm gonna enter her in the competition. And I'm super excited for this. This is gonna be so cool. I'm not, not necessarily thinking that she's gonna win. Honestly, she's probably the only female in the competition because normally all of the males pack the color, the pearling, the design, the size, the coke or the cock on their head. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But you know what? Why not enter her, right? She'll be the only female flower horn competing against all the males. And to be honest with you, Ohana, it's kind of like the thing nowadays. I mean, even flower horns need equal rights. So I am competing my female flower horn against all these beautiful male flower horns, and I'll show you some of the competitors. Now, not all of the competitors are here because they have an option. They can bring them the day of the event, but I decided to give her the upper hand and bring her here early so she can get used to the water, get used to her size of her aquarium that she's in. There's like, I don't know, 30 or 40 something fish that are entered so we'll see what happens I kind of feel like a stage mom I'm like back there kind of coaching her like come on flare your colors out girl Proud I love you baby you're, you're you're a superstar one to watch out for all right Ohana so if you guys were wondering this is the 10th annual flower horn competition that Julie is hosting she does it every year it's something I've been wanting to do and I think the time that I was gonna do it I think COVID kicked in so they had to shut it down you know, of course it was ugly for I don't know a couple years years now but she's able to have it and I entered my beautiful Moana fader flower horn in the competition I mean heck we'll roll the dice you know now this is a legit competition I mean we have judges from the CFC which is the California flower horn club coming here and they also had grand champions so they really know what they're looking for and I kind of hope that Moana kind of shakes her little thing in front of the uh, judges but she looks great I mean you see her orange her orange came out and I think the reason why her orange came out is because Julie uses the red floor and the blue background. I mean, like I said, Julie is no joke. She is an expert when it comes to her flower horns. And she says with the blue background and the red floor or substrate, it brings out the color in the flower horn. So that's why all of her competition aquariums, they have the blue background with the red floor or substrate. If you have flower horns and you wanna see the best of your flower horn, blue background, red substrate, Oh my gosh, look at Moana. I mean, look at her. You guys seen her earlier in the video, right? If you guys missed her, go back to the beginning of the video where you can see what she looks like in my aquarium versus this aquarium. Yeah, look at the highlights. She is just blazing. So that's why I brought her here today so she can get used to her aquarium, the water conditions and all that stuff. I'm taking full advantage. I'm trying to give her every opportunity to maybe win, you know? That would be so cool, right? I mean, a female flower horn competing against a bunch of male flower horns? Uh, let me show you some of the competitors. I mean, look at this beast of a male. Look at him, huh? Uh, he's a big boy too. I'm, I'm thinking he's probably pushing nine, 10 inches from the mouth to the tailbone. Yeah, that's a big dude there. Let me show you another competitor. Look at this guy. Not taking anything away from these guys. These guys are studs. Look at him, huh? <sighs> This guy looks like he's done this a few times, huh? 
He looks like a pro. But look at him. He's a beautiful, beautiful flower horn. Man. Oh, here's another one. This is a little guy, but you can just see the colors. I mean, looking at these males, I mean, <laughs> they are on a different level. A lot of these aquariums, like I said, are empty because all the competitors aren't here. A lot of them are gonna bring them early in the morning tomorrow. And then you got my beautiful Moana. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Look at her. Now there are nine categories in the competition and each category, there's a first, second, and third place. And then there's also a grand champion. I'll put a list of everything right there so you guys can go ahead and maybe pause it and read it and check it out. It's pretty interesting, but there's gonna be like over 30 awards given, you know? Um, let me show you guys what the awards look like. Check it out. Look how awesome these awards are. Look at them. <gasps> okay, so this one here is the People's Choice. <gasps> maybe Moana can win the People's Choice Award. You got Best Coke. You got Best Color. You got Best Head. Mm. This is the category that Moana is going to be in. She's going to be in the free marking division. And this is the second place trophy. Look at that. What does this one say? Uh, this is third place. This is large ZZ. You got a uh, short body here. Third place for large KK. I mean, look at all the awards. Now you want to see what the first place trophies look like? Ooh, check these bad boys out. OMGs. Look at that. First place large F3. Look at this thing how beautiful is this trophy now you can see this first place trophy compared to like these little runner-up trophies here oh my gosh how cool is that but like i said ohana i'm just happy to actually enter her in this competition something that i've always wanted to do like i said something that a lot of you guys probably would uh, want to do someday and um we're doing it for the fun of it you know what i mean i the chances of her winning, pretty much she has two chances, uh, slim and none, okay? Those are the two chances, but you never know. I swear, if they allowed like a voting system for YouTube, I know she would hands down be the grand champion because of you, Ohana. If you wanna be a part of the Ohana, this is the perfect opportunity to hit that subscribe button. Next, that subscribe button is a little bell. It's called a notification bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And you don't wanna miss content like this with these beautiful flower horns. So do yourself a favor and do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Oh, and another thing. This guy's telling me something right now. He's saying, oh, hit the like button too, okay? So I also wanna give a huge shout out to Julie. Thank you so much, Julie, for inviting me here and having me shoot your store. Now remember, Ohana, she ships anywhere in the US, so take full advantage of it. Some of the most beautiful, unique flower horns. I mean, goldfish, you saw her collection. Cross your fingers, guys. We'll see what happens with Moana. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the video too of the competition. We'll see what happens. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and before I go, I gotta give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Island Silver Crowns. Look at this beautiful Aloha crown with the bill. Look at that. What? The gold and red? Are you kidding me? Love this one. So you guys are going to be seeing me sport this Aloha crown a lot. Love the colors. It kind of just pops. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned. Bangers, bangers, bangers on this channel. Take care. I'll see you guys. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Fake a pay, Moko, how are you hooky, Ella, Imanea Galani?